They did not make this very fun. This is also not for those who aren't patient. If you have ADD, I'm, uh, or ADHD, or any of those. Okay, well, we did it, so we know, we know, we know. If I do it, I'm gonna do it off screen. We need to go and find those, the, the last of the gems in the dragonfly. That was just bull. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 14 of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. So, in the last episode we beat the Speedway and got two more dragonflies and defeated about half the wizards, I think, in Thieves' Den. Now, sadly, I think the enemies are going to respawn now that we went in there, but I, but the wizards won't respawn, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, the gem enemies are going to respawn, so I'm just going to quickly kill them to get them, like, off the screen. That way I don't mistake them, even though they do look different. Okay, now we're back down to an area we haven't been to yet, and for some reason this level is getting slow down for, I think, the first time ever. I, oh, I thought there was a gem behind me. It was just one of those blowing up. Now, we did find out a trick about this. So it's slightly based off of whatever angle you're facing. Whoops, I meant to face this way. Faces in the... It hits the opposite direction you're facing. Okay, so that should have killed him, but it, or it didn't, so that's fine by me. Uh, I think it's just the angle we're at. Not the not the angle we're at, but... Okay. There we go. We, we can do it from above, apparently. We have to do it from in the water. It's another weird thing, because sometimes the hits don't register on them, and it causes issues. It's those waterfalls that cause slowdown, because they're, like, oddly detailed for this game, and it just kind of messes with things and oh we got a zoe i forgot we haven't had a zoe since the pretty early on in the first uh first part of this level so i was gonna say in this ep in this game but uh, this episode but that doesn't work either hey we got another thief i wonder what he's up to because those thieves are good guys in this game for whatever silly reason so we'll go in here and collect some goodies get some health kill some enemy enemies Grab all these gemmer doodles around here and then talk to this guy. He's probably gonna be like, yo, bro, there's a dragonfly in it for you if you do this obscure random task. Got their laughter when you kill them is so weird. It's like they like pain, you know? Maybe they're masochists. I don't know. Also, the health respawn. Let's talk to you, Mr. Thief. There we go. You know, if I could swim dive under that water and press the switch to open that door up there. Oh. Unfortunately, I forgot my water wings. Again. Say, maybe you can do it. Watch out for the pool cleaner. It's dangerous! Uh, okay. Also, this is a... This is a pool? Really? Wait, if this is a pool, then why does it look like aqueducts like I'm so confused with why you say this is a pool they just call every piece of water in here a pool right yeah because there's like a mini challenge thing where you're lowering the upper piece so you can actually progress I feel like they did this just because they needed more water levels and they didn't actually have like a, an entire water based world like Luau Island has the most water even though it's actually not even based around water Though, the gem we were missing there was literally due to the fact that we had to swim through these arches underwater, and it was just super dumb. I had gotten that off screen for you guys, so you guys didn't have to wait for that. Because I thought I did it before, and then turns out I didn't, so that's a thing. Anyways, we can now push that. Yeah, you just charge it, and then I think what happens is you're lowering it, and then once you hit it... Also, the na 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 na, -na really sounds like, like bad guys, but in this game, it's the good guys. Actually, also, what's this? Oh, it's a one-up. Okay. I was like, before we get this to lower too far down, I wanted to see what was in there. Also, we missed this gem. Luckily, we have to hit this anyway, so... I think one more, and it'll... 
I think now it'll start to hit us down here. I'm not entirely sure. And this should be the last one over here. There we go. And it opened up the door. And there's a wizard there. Alright. Oh, wait. No. The It now hits you at the surface level of the water. But I'm pretty sure you're also supposed to jump on it. Or... Never mind, it's not actually even in the water. Hmm, I wonder which is the fake basket. It's, like I said, they're definitely a different color. Also, that's a fake gem. Wait, it wasn't shining though. Maybe it was. Wait, a key? Also, what's with the second half of this game having a key in every level? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure even the Jurassic level has a key. Also, it's crystals. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is just dying. It's been irritated the last few days. I haven't really had the time to record, so now that I'm recording, of course my throat has to be dumb. Wait, how would that even be a threat, though? Like, I'm so confused with how that's even supposed to be a threat, if... Also, they really could have did something better for the ladders. They look super bad in this. Oh no, they really put one of those gemmed enemies on the edge of a cliff. That's what I've been fearing my entire life, because now he's down there. Yeah, we had to go all the way back down because the enemy decided, you know, let's fall down the cliff. Well, let's more so walk to the cliff. Though, the rest of this level shouldn't take too long. We should be able to finish it all in this episode, and then hopefully two episodes it'll take to finish Jurassic World, or <clears throat> Jurassic Jungle, not Jurassic World. That's Jurassic Park spin-off, which is worse than Jurassic Park, honestly. Jurassic Park was just all around a better, uh, better movie. It wasn't a great movie, to say the least, but it wasn't a bad movie, either. Alright, then we just got... Anything over there? I know, that's where we came from. Just just making sure that's what it was. Don't want to, you know, mess this up and then be like... Alright, let's angle this way a little bit. Oh, hang on. Okay, it's still not close enough. There we go. And direct hit first try nice I love when the game cooperates now I know there is a spot in this level that's notoriously difficult to find the missing gems so I'm hoping I notice it also if they don't give me a Zoe soon I'm going to be livid because we have done so much like moving around in this level no why did you go up the whirlwind instead Oh, might as well grab these gems. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around here that it's where some of the missing gems go. Oh, thank you for not falling off the cliff. That's nice to have, you know. Yeah, because then we can go down there, but we don't want to go down there yet. So let's go back down here. Or not down there, over there. Oh wait, no, I keep forgetting that the green gem's up there by the whirlwind. For whatever reason, it wants to hug the whirlwind. Ouch. That was the... Ouch. That's the wall? You, you, you... Oh my god, he's behind the whirlwind, so it's gonna tar trigger the whirlwind every time I get close to him. It. It's just a gem. Oh my god, it's literally trapped behind the whirlwind. Game, what are you doing to me? Like, come on, man. Oh my god. Like, how am I going to get him out of there? Like, that's so annoying. There we go. That time I didn't get sucked into the whirlwind like an idiot. Also, there's an upper pathway and a lower pathway. This is kind of weird. I hear... Is that the whirlwind I hear? Or is that a minigame portal? I can't actually quite tell. So if we face to the right... Never mind. Wrong way again. Oh, no. We gotta go right here. There we go. There's only one left. So we're almost done the level. And I'm pretty sure that's the end of the level down there, is that hallway. So, now what we can do is we can go around and check everything out. Like this whirlwind, for example. Where does this lead us exactly? Oh, it leads us backwards. That's odd. 
Okay, right, we'll go back up top, because I think the wizard was up there, right? Or was that the one down below? Let's actually check to see how much we have left. I need a drink anyway. We only have half the gems. Over the edge, chopping block, oasis time trial, oasis race. We're 50% done the level. So, yeah, there's a lot of gems somewhere, and we know for a fact that one of the dragonflies is in a chest. So, that's a thing. Yeah, we still have to go over here. Thank god that green gem isn't an enemy, because I love when the enemies are on cliff. On cliffs. I cut myself off for whatever reason, because I was just, like, being cautious. Yeah, this place is, like, really weird, because, like, it's... Taking us in a completely different route. Okay, we can take that way, and then there's a dragonfly right there. There's oh. I like these enemies more than the gems, because that way I can just, like, charge them, and I pick up the gems. So we're gonna need to switch into our buble breath here. I wonder how many people... Are oh, it looped us completely back around. Okay. I wonder if there's something down there, though. And there we go, we got this dragonfly, Martin. Hey, it's Martin. Martin Scorsese. Wait a minute, is that a real gem? I don't know, it's not sparkling, so I don't know. Maybe we have to go down there. Like I said, there's some really awkward gems to find in this level, and luckily, it looks like we found a bunch of goodies right here. Oh, this is loop back around, okay. Another loop around. So, if we want to figure out what this place is... Oh no, those are real... Yeah, I was gonna- oh yeah, I'm on this stupid breath. I was gonna say, these are real gems. Oh, this is the exit! Never mind. Which means the final wizard should- wait a minute, did we go the real way? And not the phony baloney way? Also, the fact that the whirlwinds don't have sound effects is really, really weird. Like, it's just- oh, that one has a sound effect, the other one didn't, never mind. Oh yeah, I thought that was going to be an enemy, because I feel like it's been a while since we had an enemy that was, uh... Yeah, that's the exit of the level. And then there's a challenge portal. Okay, so we don't want to go that way yet, because if we go that way, then... Yeah. This should bring us back, right? Okay, it does bring us back. Good. It's really weird how this level does that, though. Like, this level's so odd. It has so many different, like, little gimmicks and tricks going on that... It's sometimes hard to follow, and... Are you serious? I seen that gem, and then he just hits a wall and falls. And a thief. Well, luckily, unlike a lot of levels in this game, there's not a lot of actual enemies that can hurt you. Only the wizards hurt you, like I said, in that random... Blade. I think the whole point was that they didn't want you to go up here until you finished the water part, so they had that as like a punishment tool. For like, prematurely exploring areas. But, turns out it wasn't much of an actual threat. If you just do what the guy says. And we fell all the way back down because... I don't know, like, I feel like if you do something the first time in this game, it's easy. If you try it again, it just gets progressively more, I don't know if it's frustrating, or just more difficult, or like what it is, it's just obnoxious. So, let's go back up this ladder, do 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 do. I'm really gonna start either cutting these parts out, or just like speeding them up, because a lot of you guys used to love like back when I played games on my other channel, uh, before it became a solo Pokemon content channel, that um, I did like the speed up sections and you guys would just laugh at them. Back when I was Solar Warlock still, you know, things like that. Now we did have, um... This hallway place. Oh, wait a minute, this wasn't even the way... That just brings us down to the bottom. So this... this We could have did this one. Pretty sure that's just a shortcut to where we needed to go anyway. And then this is the long way, because it brings us to everything else. Also, I don't know why the camera angle was uh, fighting with me there, but it was. 
Oh yeah, and this brought us back. So, well, I guess we can see if we missed anything, because, like, if that's the end of the level, then where's the last wizard? Because we're clearly missing a wizard, and I haven't seen him. Yeah, and this way just leads us to, like, places we've already been. And this game doesn't have a map, so you can't, like, look at a map. I'm pretty sure there's, like, something in this area, though, that's always confusing. And I'm not entirely sure where it is or where it was that I'm thinking of, but there was something. Oh, wait a minute. We can go up here by doing this. That's interesting. So I don't know if this is just like uh, another way to this spot or if those gems were only accessible if we went and glided there. Glowed? Glid? Glided? Yeah, because I don't know if you can get back up. What is this challenge portal for, though? And of course, Sparks doesn't look like he's going to say exactly what it's for, but uh, I guess we'll go in here and check it out. This is kind of a weird area, don't you think? Also, no enemies, just, just straight up gems. I'll take it, but once again, big lack of um, anything going on here. Pretty sure that's back towards the beginning of the level, because once you reach the exit, there's usually a shortcut back to the beginning, and I'm pretty sure this is the beginning down here. I don't want to fall down, but I do want to look down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's somewhere we've already been. It's hard to tell, because this game is just weird, but uh, looks like Ice Breath, so I don't know if we're going to need Ice Breath like if we need to put it on but let's put it on anyway it's just literally a random challenge portal mini game with um yeah oh wait a minute now we have to go back this way this is so weird like did they design it to be backwards like that or something cuz wait this seems oddly easy because then we have all three right here. Are you saying this was a challenge? Okay. We have Marta. Hey, it's Marta. Nice. But weird thing, like I said, we still haven't found the chest. Yeah, that's the staircase at the beginning of the level, I'm pretty sure. So where's the chest? And where is the last of the wizards? Like, we can go back... We can go down here to this, uh, portal, but... I don't think that's gonna help us very much, because I feel like... We're still missing so much of the level. Wait, we can go that way, though. Oh, maybe it's just that way. Maybe... Maybe I'm not crazy. Also, maybe he doesn't give us a dragonfly. Hmm, maybe he doesn't give us one. Maybe there isn't one for killing all the wizards. I know sometimes the games do that, but this is literally just the exit portal. But once again, the exit portal isn't at the end of the level. I guess technically games like Spyro 3 were kind of like that, or Spyro... Actually, almost any Spyro game has something like after the exit portal. Also, once again, lack of enemies. Actually, is this all the gems here? No, there's still like at least 100 gems because... Yeah, because I think we have to get to 6200 or something like that. And Oh my lord, there's way more to this level than I thought. Maybe this is going to be a three-parter. I don't know yet. I want to kill you with a charge, though. I dropped a single red gem like a normal basket in this game does. Yay! Also, have you noticed there's been, like, one uh, gold gem? There's been no blue gems all level. It's just red and green, and that's what they did with this game. Is they lowered the gem amount, but just made it so it looks like there's lots of gems by making them greens and reds. Instead of just, I don't know, diversity, I guess, with the gem types? 
God, these stairs are janky. If you touch the edge of them, you kind of slide around. Also, both of these are enemies. Is that supposed to be a challenge, man? It was literally just gems. Like, I'm pretty sure with that, we almost have all the gems of the level just because of that. Also, this seems eerie. Wait, that's the beginning of the level right there. Huh, but we're still miss- Thing is, we're still- Wait a second, what is that? I was about to say, we're still missing gems, and the challenge portal, and the ch There's the chest. There we go. Oh, we found that. Let's see what we got. Well, we know what it is, but who it is, is the question. Racket. Hey, it's Racket. Because I'm pretty sure there's still a, cha a tower challenge, and then, um, yeah. Like the, I'm pretty sure the second, we haven't found the second challenge portal, or the, um, last wizard yet, so that's a thing. Okay, so we need to look for him then, because we clearly missed a pathway somewhere. And it's kind of weird, because, like, I swear we looked everywhere. Because it's not in this room, we know that for a fact, that it's not this room. Alright, so we can go this way. Like I said, there's one specific area in this level that's extremely difficult to find everything. And, like I said, it's not very many gems, and we're missing the wizard and the challenge portal, which I have a feeling are all together. Because if we check out this, it should be, we have three left and we're missing 20 gems. The lantern perch, blank, and then blank. So one's beating the level, and the other one's the other challenge portal, and then the lantern edge. Lantern edge? Wait a minute, that means we've seen it before. So where is it? We've seen it before. Also, why does that sound like a challenge portal? But I'm pretty sure it's just the whirlwind. Is it the whirlwind? Okay, it is the whirlwind and not the uh, challenge portal. That's good to know. Wait, why does this look? I was gonna say, that looks oddly suspicious. They never do breakable walls in this game, so what made them do breakable walls? Ow, this time. Fire at me, fool. And you are dead. And hopefully the last of the gems lurk within this room. And if they don't, we are literally screwed. The gems are with are with the last dragonfly. I'm like 100 percent or yeah, with the with that one perch dragonfly. So I guess we'll go and do this challenge, right? And then we'll just backtrack again, or not backtrack, continue on to see where the gems are. Because they're probably with that dragonfly. Because we've been near it. That's why it popped up. So, we know we've seen it or been near it, so it's somewhere we've been before. And see, they're all green and red. Like, if this isn't a Christmas game. Game. The wizard Rip has captured a dragonfly! Use your lightning breath to activate all the trick. Okay. Yeah, it's the exact same thing we did in, um... Uh, what's it called? In the Farmville level. So then what you can do is you just wait for them to come down like this, and then you do this again. And then you can do it again. And you keep doing this until the next wave of platforms, technically. The music here is kind of interesting, though, not, not gonna lie. Like, it's actually pretty eerie. Also, how many of these platforms are there? Oh, I can hear the electricity of that one, yeah. So now... It should bring us closer to these platforms. And if you die, you do have to do it all over again, so... Wait, what? Where am I going? I'm going to the moon. Where the heck are we? Well, I think we're just supposed to, like, randomly, uh... 
supposed to randomly land on a platform and hope that, like, we get them all now, I guess? Yeah, we just created a high-rise car carousel. Like, what the heck was that game? Um, I guess we can make it to this one now? Now we gotta wait till we find another platform we can hop on that we don't have done yet. This is all just like a patient waiting game. Also, what is with these platforms specifically that have such a problem with us? No, come back, platform. Sometimes it feels like they're moving really fast, but it's like only certain platforms, like these ones move fast, which then makes them seem like they're moving fast, when in reality, they're moving pretty darn slow. Wait, I've already gotten this one before, really? Whoa. Okay there, Nelly. Uh, now we just kind of got to wait for this one over here to circle around, because this is clearly one that we still need. Okay, that one worked out fine. Okay, it looks like we have most of them in that one direction, except for this one, right? So the most that was the most delayed Zappacosta. Okay, it looks like we have them all now there. Okay, no, we're still missing that one over there. Oh wait, I shouldn't have jumped off that one. No. I need to jump back on one of these. Because we need to get to that one over there. That does not look very fun. We need to just keep going around until we get to one that... Oh wait, it's going to keep going that way. So we need to technically hop on a platform that rotates around that way. So we need one of these ones. Now we should be able to get it. Now it's just a waiting game. A very slow, boring waiting game. Right, where is it? Where's the one that we haven't gotten to yet? Should be the next one, right? Nope, it's not the next one. Did we pass it? Did I just miss it? Or is it that one? No, it's not that one either. Where is it then? Also, why can't I look around? That's really obnoxious. Wait, am I supposed to go up now? Maybe I'm just supposed to go up. I think that one was technically already done, so now it looks like we just gotta go up. But, but, but. There we go. Oh, now we have to hit these ones. Okay. And then looks like if we hop off this one and land back on this one, we should be able to just keep doing it until that last one right there. Now, can this one loop around back that way? Oh, I think it can. I don't know if you can technically fall through that the darker spots of this platform or not, but... Do we have them all? I think we do. Don't tell me we're still missing one down... Wait a minute, it's that... Yeah, it's that one. I thought we had missed one down here. I knew I wasn't going crazy. They did not make this very fun. This is also not for those who aren't patient. If you have ADD, I'm, uh, or ADHD, or any of those. Okay, well, we did it, so we know, we know, we know. If I do it, I'm going to do it off screen. We need to go and find those, the, the last of the gems and the dragonfly. That was just bull. But as I was saying, if you have ADD or ADHD, there's a good chance that this level will annoy you. Man, and I don't have them, any of those, and it annoys me. Also, it's only 10.56, and I've already recorded, like, an hour's worth of content. Only two episodes, but it's still an hour. Okay, so sit on the lantern perch. So we need to find a lantern, and we know for a fact that we got this one. 
I just wish these gems would stay dead. Like the other guys stay dead, so we know we have this one, so those aren't the lanterns. So that's a thing. Uh, and we know that this was the speedway, and that these were just enemy gems, so that's cool. You think there's like something around here maybe that we missed? Like around this area? It feels like we could, but it wasn't when we got here. It wasn't until we got to that weird second half of the level, though, that it that that dragonfly is it's like challenge popped up, like what it said it's from. So we know for a fact that it's not part of that area. And we know for a fact that these are just little gem enemies because they threw them all in like little areas together and then that's it. Like this seems oddly suspicious around here, just saying, and that's the pool cleaner. So, like I said, it's probably in that really weird area. Um, we know for a fact it's not in the water. 100,000 billion trillion quadrillion gugaplexian percent, it's not in the water. We know that. So, where is it? It's somewhere past this section. Uh, if I don't find it within the next few minutes... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end the episode, and at the beginning of the next episode, I'm going to find where those gems and uh, Dragonfly were, and we'll just do that and then go on to Jurassic Jungle, because it's not very big of a run Like once we leave the level to go there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Join the Patreon and Discord in links below. Bye-bye, have a good day.